Interactive Application Security Testing, also often called IAST. It's weird to say at first, but once you get it, IAST is fine. Was developed and invented by Contrast Security around eight years ago. It is sort of a combination of SAST and DAST that happens inside the application. So the way IAST tools work is they give you a binary and you have to install it inside of your application as part of your app. And as your app is used, it can then follow through the code and interact with the app and test and then tell you about vulnerabilities it's found. From what I am told, they're extremely accurate. They're also extremely expensive. I've never seen a cheap IaaS. There's no free IaaS that I'm aware of. However, the results are, from what I hear, pretty darn good, which is exciting. IaaS tools, because it is a part of your application, do cause a bit of latency. And they only work if the app is being used. So if you put it into the app and the app sits there on the dev server, and then let's say, you know, I run one or two little tests myself manually, and then that's it, that's not a good test for the IaaS tool. You're gonna find nothing. So I would advise if you are going to use an IaaS tool that you install it on a QA server for sure and have a penetration test done while you have your IaaS running, do all the QA tests, do every single type of test you're gonna do, do your user acceptance testing on it, all of that. That will give the IaaS tool lots of opportunity to find tons of vulnerabilities. If you're gonna give training to a ton of people, run the IaaS at the same time, yeah. For running it in production, the companies will tell you like, yeah, the latency is totally not noticeable, you should totally use it. But it really depends. So if you work at an organization and you know you have a tool that does super special science stuff, but only 50 people do it, if you only have 50 regular users, maybe that tiny amount of latency doesn't matter to you. However, if let's say you run an online store like AliExpress or eBay or something like that, every tiny bit of latency really, really, really matters. And an IaaS tool is really just not advised for that. So you need to think about your business case to decide, first of all, if it's right for you and if it's right for your budget. And on top of that, like you definitely, definitely want to test it in QA. You want to do your user acceptance testing training, all that stuff that you can do with it installed. But as to if you're going to put it in production, do a lot of tests first. Do stress tests, performance tests, and user acceptance testing at the same time to make sure it's acceptable before you release it into prod. That said, again, the results tend to be pretty darn good. They tend to have very few false positives. And from what I understand, they can uncover a lot of stuff very quickly. So that's pretty exciting. So let me give you a list. So the first one is Assess by Contrast Security. There's HDiv, there's Vericode, there's Synopsis Seeker, there's Acunetics with AccuSensor. So this is an agent-based one that goes with their DAST tool, and I don't fully understand why it's called an IAST and not a DAST, but they say that's the deal. Same with NetSparker, which is made by the same product. They also have an agent that they say does IAST. There's SegPass, there's CX IAST by Checkmarks, and there's AppScan Enterprise that also says that they have an IAST plugin. So those are some options on the market. I believe there's a few more out there, but not very many. And if we missed you, please tell me so we can update our list.